Hello and welcome to our next episode of my Ultima 4 Quest of the Avatar playthrough series or walkthrough. We are here in lovely Magencia ruins that we love. And uh, yeah, let's talk about how we got here. You know, I, I spent a bit of time last episode trying to find my way here and I was not successful. But what I did off camera is I spent uh, a bit of time. I, I did it the old fashioned way. I went to each of the moon gates and I saw where each of them went and recorded it. So now I know where to go. Like here from Agencia, we can go to Trinsic and Scarbray. And then once again, back here to Magencia, because sometimes you can always go to two or three places. Sometimes it's because you get the same phase together. And sometimes it just drops you right where you're at. Now, there is supposed to be something strange. I did see something uh, about something strange that happens because moon glows the same way. You can have two uh, new moons, which are the all black ones. And uh, that's supposed to do something different. We did see last time, I didn't really call it out, but we did it that we saw that if we're at the uh, moon gate by Minoc, two full moons takes us to the shrine of spirituality. So now I know how to get any place we want to go. It just might be that we have to connect. And, and so now I know that and, and the order with which that they're going to be. So it, it makes it a little bit easier for me looking at the phases. I don't have to think quite so much. I can go, okay, so if I'm at Magencia, I want to go to Scarabray. That's going to be the second destination possible. And I just got to watch the um, the rightmost moon there, which is Felucha, uh, to see where it is we want to go. So very happily, we've we've figured that out. We have some things we need to do here in Magencia. We know of the shrine. Uh, we are in the land of humility, although it's really not the land of pride. And, and the shrine is on a dark island, uh, which I think is this island. But as you can see, what we have here is mountains. And we can't, we can't cross the mountains. So once again, this is like one of three um, shrines where we need a ship. So we need to find a ship. Uh, for that. Uh, and we also need, I think we don't have the rune yet. We have the mantra, that's it. And we need to find some information out about the, the stone in the dungeon. So let's get into Magencia here before that squiddy thing decides he wants to do, to uh, do us some harm. There is supposed to be, um, a companion here. I'm pretty sure. But first, before we start looking for that, I want to look at uh, how we're doing on Cure Spells. Um, cure Spells. We have eight of them. All right. And what are the reagents we need for a Cure Spell? Garlic and ginseng. So we can make quite a bit because you know, we're going to be going through all this. How about for a heal? What's a heal spell? Ginseng and spider silk. I can't do as many of those. So uh, I was thinking... I might just let us go and do heals, but but uh, that's probably more expensive, really, than doing just the garlic and the ginseng. So, yeah, if we have to, we will do a lot of um, uh, cure spells um, to prevent our people from dying. Um, so, yeah, let's get out of that. I haven't changed your order. It's still what it was last time. Uh, and nothing else has really changed here. I am kind of wondering if I should... Yeah, it starts already. I'm going to go around the outer edge here. And just make sure there's nothing. All right, that dropped me out. All right. And that drops me out. I'm keeping an eyeball on their health. I don't want to, um, if I can get away with delaying a cure spell, I will. Oh, looky here, we have a person. Let's talk to this person. You meet a shepherd. All right. Interesting place for a shepherd. I am Katrina. All right, what's your job here, Katrina? A survivor. Oh, 
Maybe she was here before the fall. Magencia was destroyed by its pride, which we knew, not knew. Pride flourishes in the absence of truth, love, and courage. Yeah, it kind of gets me back to that riddle that made me think humility might be the answer to that, but but um, being that where truth, love, and courage abides, then there is humility. That seemed to be what, what that guy was getting at, but he didn't have anything specific to say about humility. All right. Art thou proud? Oh, golly, am I proud? Let me look at my little Hawkwind cheat sheet here. No, we're ready for elevation. Holy camoli. No, we are not proud. We are humble. So I can truthfully tell Katrina, nope. Humility is the virtue that must overcome pride. Humility. Pride. Pride. Yeah, okay, we did that. And I said, no. I'm not proud. All right. Can you join me? I, you know, there was somebody, it might have been Iolo, there probably was Iolo, who was just very forthright and said, I would join thee. And I don't know that anybody else has done that since. I always have to ask them, hey, you want to join? Um... All right, so let's just see. Thou art not experienced enough for me to join thee. Okay, that's really not what I was expecting. I'm level five. Hmm. Yeah, that wasn't what I was expected at all. Katrina. All right, let's take a quick look at my stats. Yeah, I'm level five. I believe 1600 is when I get my next level. I don't know. So I guess we'll see. I'll be interested to see when we can get her. I guess we'll have to come back when I reach level six and see if, if I can, if, if she'll join us then. But most of our companions, I think all of our companions, when they join us, they join at level two. And so I would hope that when she's going to join us, since I need to be more experienced, you know, that uh, maybe she'll be a little bit higher than that. That's strange. All right. So let's, uh, I'm going to cast Cure Spell on Shamino. And I'm going to cast a Cure Spell on Iolo. All right. I don't think there's anything else down here. So let's get into town. We need to find... I really don't want to fight that squiddy thing or whatever the blazes that is. I wish there was something that you could take that would protect you from the swamp. Maybe if we still had our horse. I'm not certain that the horse would... Uh, protect us from the the poison or not all right what can you tell me about the rune we talked to these guys before stone dungeon all right you're not what was your job here again he was the welcome guy right Fell in the darkness, the uh, virtue is ear place in pride. I am definitely not proud. All right. All right, let's talk to this ghost. Rune. Stone. Dungeon. I actually have a, I think I have a good sense of what of, of what dungeon is. And, and actually maybe we won't, we may not find information about that here. Uh, I was going through and, and kind of reorganizing my notes a bit. And one of the things I was doing was looking at, I had some stones and some dungeons that were not associated with specific, we've not received their information yet that it is associated with specific um, virtues. 
and therefore specific towns. Um, like uh, for honor, we've learned that the dungeon is dungeon shame, and that makes sense because that would be the uh, shame would be the opposite of honor. Same thing with honesty; the opposite is deceit, dungeon deceit, truth. Um, we had this one uh, dungeon we heard a little bit about. We know that there's a white stone there, and it is dungeon Highfloth. and that seems to be like pride. I, I looked it up online, so I'm thinking that the white stone and Highfloth is what it is, but I also have a note that we need to ask it to tap intrinsic. Although as we learned last time, maybe I just need to ask at any pub. So next time we get to a pub, um, I need to ask. And actually there is a thing here about the Blackstone I need to ask at the pub in Britain. So next time we get to a barkeep, I need to spend some gold, which means I need to make some gold uh, so that uh, we can maybe get those answers. So maybe the best we can hope for here is going to be the rune. Uh, so we, we will see. All right, I don't know that you can help me, Mr. Ghosty Person, with anything else. We got skellies up here. Why do I feel like I'm going to have to talk to that guy in the corner? Rune. Stone. I might have touched this. The snake gave us something last time. I forget what it was. A mean looking viper. Uh, rune. The sake of rune of humility was banished from this city. Ask Baron in pause. Okay, that's new. And he's gonna attack. And I'm just gonna back up because he's, he's a non-evil creature. Uh, I also learned that it's okay, and no, I'm poisoned, thank you, sir. It's okay if we do this, I have to be the last one off of the field of battle. So, so long as that happens, that I'm the last one off, um, what's your job? I don't think I talked to these guys. Haunt, haunting job takes more than a lifetime, it takes forever. Okay, rune, stone, dungeon. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's go back here and talk to this skelly. And the shamanos poison. Also, crumbling skeleton, what's your name? I am banter. What's your job? I once held the silver horn. Oh, that's interesting. What's the silver horn? The silver horn must be used to pass the demon guard of the shrine. Well, crap. That means you were ready for elevation. We don't have the rune yet. We do have to go find it, but now we at least have a line on the rune. But at the same time, now we've also got to find the silver horn. Uh. Weirdrum has been to the Shrine of Humility. That's going to, be, going to be somebody that's here, I'm pretty sure. I am pretty doggone sure. Seek ye the horn. Absolutely, I seek the horn. <laughs> Ask Dimitri. Uh, all right, and what was your name again, Mr. Undead? Banter. All right. Let's talk. There's Weirdrum. So this is the guy. I thought this guy couldn't tell me anything about the shrine. I have been to the shrine. It lies on the north bank. On the north bank in the Isle of the Abyss. Hmm. Uh, we basically had that information. So I probably talked to this guy before. But um, I was thinking maybe that was this island. 
It still could be, you know, if there's, I'm assuming there's more to the island on the other side of those mountains. If not, maybe there must be another island kind of in the vicinity of where this place is at, where that's going to be. All right. Great. Now, three of us. I need to cure Shamino. Shamino is two. All right. I think Julie and I can, can tough it out for a little bit longer. Oh, golly. And now Iolo is because I screwed up. There's Dimitri. Oh, thank God these guys are all like right here. This is good news. All right. Um, what can you tell me about the horn? The queen of love has a lady in waiting. She can tell thee more of the horn. Okay. Uh, I think so. That means I'm pretty sure that means we have to go back to Empath Abbey. I'm pretty sure that's what that means. Um so we have to get there so we can ask the lady in waiting. I do kind of remember a lady in waiting there. So, all right. So we know where the shrine is. We got more information about that. We got information about where to find the rune. I don't know. There's a whole lot more we need to do here. Oh, let's see. Um, I'm a uh, queen. You have any more to tell us about that? Love, lady. All right. I did not come up here last time. Sure, why not? That is a very annoying sound. Very annoying indeed. All right. Cure or cast cure on Shamino. Julia. On Iolo. We're going to have to rest up after this. All right. Joffrey's got over 200 hit points. Let's turn it. Name. Job. Dude, you're killing me here. Oh my god, Shamino. Cure her cast. And I guess while I'm at it. Alright, so the only one poison now is me. And I think I've gotten everything I want to get out of this place. We still have one more patch of uh, poison y stuff we gotta. Man, I am just messing this crap up today. Alright, so let's get everybody healed up. Or at least. Alright, so I got a cure. <sighs> How many cures do I have left? Zero. All right. Mixed reagents. So I said for cure, I need garlic and ginseng. So that's CB. CB. Do two more. So we have 10. All right, there we go. 
All right, so we actually only need four of them. So I'm going to cure. I'm going to cure, I guess I'll do Joffrey to begin with. I'm going to cure Julia. I'm going to cure Iolo. And cure myself. All right. Let's see if we can get out of here without anybody getting poisoned anymore. All right. I'm going to hole up in camp. Hopefully we can make it through the night without getting interrupted. As far as moon phases, what I'm tempted to do is to try to get to where Magencia. Uh, let's see, so Trinzic, how can I get to you? All right, so we'll go to Scarabray. We'll go to Scarabray, that can get us to you. Scarabray is last quarter. So we'll have to wait here a second for the moon to go through its phases and then we can go over to Scarabray and then from there we will wait and then we'll make it over to you. Okay, here we are near you. And I actually want to go to you real quick. All right. Excellent. Made it there without problems. Just because our food's getting a bit low. And I want to get some more. And I know we will not be able to buy any um, at the Abbey itself. We're going to run over to Empath Abbey. We're going to see if we can find out about the horn. All right. 25 for 35 gold pieces. I got 118. So I could do 70, I could do two packs, do 70, I could do three packs. Could I do three packs? It'd be 35, 35, 35. So it'd be 70 plus 35, which would be 105. So I could do three packs. And then give me to like 131 food. That all lasts us for a while. It could also pretty much cleans us out. I don't think there's anything. Is there anything else we need? Here in you, you is the town of justice. We know where the shrine is. We already have the rune. How about stones and dungeons? We do need information about the dungeon here and the stone. I am I am hypothesizing that wrong is the dungeon of justice. Let's um, let's see if we can find anything out about that. Um, Dwip. I remember good old Dwip. He probably can't. The walking guys usually can't. Dungeon. Nope. Okay. I think rather than talking to all the little people, maybe, I want to talk to, uh, what's this guy's name again? Talford. What can you tell me about the stone? He already gave us information about the rune. Yeah, so I guess he's not going to be a good source of information. This is, this is Pinrod. I remember him. Um, dungeon. All right. And the other guy was Pinrod, too. Dungeon. Okay. Well, here's a chance to... A withered form. Job, he's a beggar. Give. Oh, give him ten. Keep I, I don't want to give. We didn't I healed. We rested, but I didn't get all the way up to, to full health. So I don't really want to give any more of my health at this point. Wandering druid. Know ye anything of the stone? Dungeon. Since you've Alright, you're no help to me. I am a druid, stone, dungeon. Should probably also be asking about the altar. All right. So these two know nothing. Let's talk to this person. 
another wandering druid. Probably not going to have anything. Whoops. Nope. Okay. Let's ask this fighter down here. Ranger. Excuse me. Uh, stone. Dungeon. Altar. There was another one. Did he go hiding in trees? He did. Hey, dude, I'm trying to talk to you. Quit running away. Another sleek ranger. Stone. Dungeon. Altar. Nope. Okay. You are not much help. Uh, nobody else in dry goods. Uh, nobody else, nobody in jail I can talk to. I've already talked to everybody there. Let's go around the periphery. This was the guy, that was the guy that knew quickness? Knew the guy that did the quickness spell, I think? All right, so we're just going to go around. All right, oh, let's talk to this guy. I am Druid. Hear me roar. Um... What is it you do here, Justice? Learn at the shrine. She was gave me the shrine clue, but uh, um, I believe I have the rune. Yes, I do. Okay. Here we go. This is the person I need. Um and seek the green stone in wrong. Okay, so I was correct, wrong is, and that's the dungeon we found. And the stone is green. So that's a bit of information I did not have. So that's good. What about the altar? All right. All right, that's good. That's really good. Um, this is justice. There's no way that Jenna's going to join me because right now I'm at the bottom. I'm at a one. I'm an unjust wretch. So there's no sense even asking her to join me right now. Uh, oh yeah, these are the chanting druids. That's how I got the mantra eventually. All right. I guess I'm not going to worry about the altar right now. I, I am kind of tempted to go talk to that guy and make sure all he was had to talk about was the quickness spell that I'm remembering that correctly. Yeah, calumny spells. I invented quickness. Yes, I can. Yes, I know that. Um, okay. I guess you have nothing of interest really to tell me. Do I really want to do that? No, I think I'll, I'm going to take this around. This I don't remember if there's anybody else on these outskirts. There's somebody there. He might just be a wandering guy. Yeah, a wandering Jewid, druid. Job. I seek justice. Yeah, we've had we've been the yep, 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 yep. Okay. All right, we're done there. All right, so let us head to the Abbey, which is pretty much due east of here. So let us go through the deep forest here, the dark forest, I think it's the deep forest. I had it right the first time. And then I believe. 
there we are, Empath Abbey. All too easy. Boy, look at that. We're already down to 108 food. We are going through. I really need to just roam and, and, and fight a bunch of stuff so that we can just get a bunch of food because with five of us, we just plow through the food. All right, so we have a number of things we need to do here. Um, there was that bard that I forgot to ask about the candle. There is supposedly somebody named Antos at all of these places, all of the castles, that will tell us about the bell, the book, the candle. So we need to do that. We need to ask the handmaid about the horn or the lady in waiting, not the handmaid. So we've got a few things to do here. Um, so let's... This is chin up. Uh, his job, his abijid, his job is to welcome us. Yes, it is. Sure, why not? Oh yeah, the oak grove. Oh jeez. How are we doing on keys? One key left. We have got to get back to Vesper. We have a couple of reasons to get back to Vesper. But we need keys, and we have to get that in Vesper. So I guess, uh, yeah, that might be a reason to go roaming and get some more um, get some more gold at the same time. Okay, but that's what that key's for. We're going to get in the Oak Grove. We are going to get in the Oak Grove. All right, let's see if we can get to the uh, lady-in-waiting here. Uh... This is the Castle of Love, right? The Gold Room, which I'm not going to fuss with. All right, let's talk to this guy. I was such an idiot. I don't remember which episode it was, but I'm like, I was editing this video, and I'm like, ask him about the candle, and, and past me did not. Tell me tell me about, what, what's your name? Is this Santos? This is Derek the Bard. We need to find Antos. Antos may have been the one that told us to talk to the Bard about the candle, but I had a note to uh, talk to the Bard about the candle. The candle of love is found in a secret place hidden off Lock Lake. Now, we've been told about a hidden town uh, off, of, off of Lock Lake. I don't remember what that was in relation to oh there's another village there's another unmapped village that's supposed to be in that area as well okay so hmm so candle of love is found there so clearly we need to be doing some serious exploring of lock lake clearly clearly all right let's All right, so let's see if we can find. I mean, heck, for all I know, that's Antos. I bet that's the lady in waiting. All right, let's 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 go in here. Let's go into the place we've never been before. We got a couple people in here. What's your name? I am Diane. What's your job? I counsel those who enter the grove. Oh, interesting. Herein thou may find insights into love within thyself or the others here in the grove. Hmm. Okay. All right. So let's talk to this person, a solemn bard. What is your name? I am Benjamin. What's your job? I relate love and compassion. When the three combine in eight ways, love alone. When the three combine in eight ways, love alone is compassion. We got all these riddles that are about that are about um 
combining these things and 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 all that and I'm just really not that <laughs> good at riddles. One of the things that's throwing me is is that uh, yeah, I, I would expect after ways there to be a comma. And I don't know if if because that's how I parse that sentence, but I don't know if that's the right way to do it. You know what I mean? All right, so what if I ask him? I ask him about the compassion. Of the eight avatar attributes, compassion is derived from love alone. When the three combine in eight ways, love alone is compassion. So I guess, yeah, I, I'm probably right. All he's, all he's saying is that compassion comes strictly from love. Because we got the principles. So you got the principles of truth, love, and courage. Truth and courage don't have much to do with compassion. It's just love. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying there. So, and I and I can see that. I think that's that's valid. I'm I'm, I'm happy for that viewpoint, sir. Thank you. All right. So, what do you have to tell me? I am Lastro. What's your job? I follow the spiritual path. Spiritual. My spirituality is not a religion, but a searching to know and to improve my inner being. Improve, searching. Okay, interesting. Um, let's talk to this person, this druid named Deidre. What's your job here? I ponder love and justice. Love. When three build eight, truth tempered by love becomes justice. So this is similar to the earlier riddle that the guy up above gave us. And, um, and I think I'm right in the way I'm parsing that. Uh, and what I'm thinking now is, is we've seen, uh, we've gotten some information about the altars. Like for sacrifice, we know that the altar is love and courage. And for honor, it's truth and courage. I'm going to be willing to bet that for justice, it's going to be truth and love. I'm not quite sure. And then I guess for compassion, it's just going to be love alone. I'm not sure how that works. Uh, we haven't we haven't found an altar yet. They're at the bottom of the dungeons, is my understanding. So we'll have to see how that goes. But I'm guessing that's what this is. This is our clue as far as how that goes. And I wonder if somebody here, though, uh, we'll get if we find somebody, if there's somebody here that can tell us about sacrifice. Because I already know that the altar for sacrifice is love and courage. So maybe, you know, since we are in the, in, the, in the keep of love here, may, maybe there's something, somebody that can tell me that. Okay, so so we've talked to, yeah, we talked to that guy. Is there anybody else here I can talk to? No, that was it. Job. I really relate love and compassion. And the three combined eight, love alone is compassion. Of the eight avatars, attributes, compassion is derived from love alone. Okay, yeah, so that's compassion. What was it you were talking about? Job. The spiritual path. Yeah, we don't know anything about spirituality. Spiritual. It's not a religion, but a searching. is not a religion, but a searching to know and improve my inner being. All right, that doesn't tell me anything about altars. I'm not quite sure what that is really supposed to tell me that would help me in that regard, but maybe not everything here is going to be like that. 
religion. I think I spelled that right. I did spell it wrong. All right. All right. I think I've... Unless there's somebody hidden in trees here. And I kind of doubt it because they're kind of small clumps of trees. There's nobody back there. I've already... Ask the others. Art thou the most loving? The most loving person. Strive for love. Okay. I mean, I'm doing pretty good on compassion, but I'm still at a four out of five. I'm not a five. All right, so there's supposed to be a lady in waiting here. We can ask about the horn. Is this, oh yeah, there she is. I remember this, this woman just sitting here in this room by herself. A lovely lady. Job, you are the lady in waiting. Horn. There is a paladin by the name of Malcor. He can lead thee to the silver horn. There's always somebody else to talk to. <laughs> All right, so let's see. I, I don't. We're we're getting to the point where I need to end the end the episode. So that's a druid. That's not a ranger. Um, that's a healer. Could you be Malcor? Could I be that lucky? Paladin. I don't think so. Oh, I am Malcor. Uh, okay. Horn. Some say the silver horn is buried on a small isle off the tip of the spirit wood. Well, this one small aisle off the tip of the spirit wood is where Scar Bray is at. So maybe we just need to search there. But there's two other aisles there that are that are close to it. So again, we would need to um, get a ship. Okay, so that's I'm pretty sure that's going to be the Isle of Scar Bray. I'm guessing, so we'll have to check that out. But that's going to have to be next episode because it's time for me to wrap this one up. So thank you so much for watching. I do hope you come back for the next. And until then, be seeing you.